Welcome to episode 168, John 2, David's son, from bankrupt to memory king of the world. This is an outline of episode 168. There are three reasons why we study John 2 and David's son. First, they are the memory king of the world. Second, the company was started in a garage by two Chinese immigrants in Los Angeles, California. Third, Kingston Technology was founded on the infamous Black Friday, October 19, 1987. Let us meet John Two, one of the founders. He's the older one and definitely very, very loud. <laughs> And John II's hero is the Kingston Trio. Where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young girls gone? Gone to young men, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? John II was born in Chongqing, China in 1940. capital of China takes Japanese air raids as usual. Under the guidance of Madame Chiang Kai-shek and her sisters, he graduated from Darmstadt Technische Hochschule. Yes, he speaks German too. Let us meet David's son. How can this start it? By luck. <laughs> yeah. 1987, I do a very short version. It's a pure luck. David's son was born in Taiwan in 1951. He graduated from Taitung Institute of Technology. Came from the foundation of Datong Institute of Technology, and in 1963, the institute was established. In 1999, Datong Institute of Technology was renamed Datong University. Our goal is to instill the spirit of honesty, integrity, industry, and prudence into the students. How did they start Kingston Technology? It was a near-death experience. Right Monday, October 1987, when David's son and John Tu almost lost all their life savings in the business venture they started together in 1985 was that there was a big accident happening in our life and we had no vision and it was a necessity. We lost um, our saving, our whole life saving both David and I by investing into something that we should not and because we didn't understand what we were doing. So we lost everything and then we had to struggle. We had to find a way to survive. We actually had, uh, David and I, we had a uh, uh, another startup company in 1985 or 84, and that was a, a, a very short uh, life uh, for that company. But we we started, uh, and then we sold the company into after two years. Then, and then we we thought the life was perfect and then happy, you know. So, but then the tragic happened in 1980. Kingston Technology was born on Black Monday. The stock market crashed, Wall Street panic. It was just going down and down and down, <laughs> never stopped. I guess the bull market's over, huh? Yeah. Financial disaster up there. It's a bloodbath down there. On what becomes known as Black Monday, panic sets in, and investors sink the Dow Jones 508 points in frenzied selling. Uh, very uh, uh, I ironic, because uh, the company actually started um, uh, on October 17th, 1987. Um, if you're old enough, then you remember that was the day the um, American um, stock market crashed totally. 
uh, I think it's Black Monday. And we lost that day. David, my partner, and I, we lost all our savings, all what we, we our assets, what we own, to, um, to the uh, market crash. And that actually is how we decided to start the Kings. First, we lost everything, and then we were just totally broke. And then the next few months, then we decided that we had to do something quickly. And, and uh, so it, it eventually then we found a way to, um, to, uh, uh, to, to find out what really uh, uh, the market right now probably, uh, uh, this is the, the thing we should be doing, so which is memory upgrade and for the PCs. Uh, and Here's a glimpse of how computer memory were made in the factories. Tea in conditions reales. Y llegamos a otro momento fundamental en la vida de una memoria. En este lugar, a mis costados, tienen computadoras iguales a la que usarías en tu casa. Lo que hacen estas máquinas es probar la memoria una por una para determinar si tienen o no fallas. Una vez que están perfectas, que están chequeadas como que hay, cada una de las memorias que se producen en esta fábrica salen para que puedan ser compradas y estén aprobadas. Luego de conocer la fábrica, era momento de conocer al hombre que creó un imperio por accidente. En 1992, Things and Technology was the fastest growing company in the United States. En 1996, SoftBank of Japan bought 80% of Things and Technology for $1.5 billion. dollars. In 1999, David Sun and John Tu were able to buy back the shares of Things and Technology for $450 million. dollars. You do the math. This is really true move. Uh, and we specialize in memory products. So basically we're number one memory manufacturer in the world, independent one. We are privately owned with uh, two owners. Uh, and we have many solutions which basically help our customers uh, with their data storage requirements. The technology changes fast. David and John innovate even faster. Here is the Kingston HyperX Predator USB. I can feel that it just seems very, very sturdy and you would never lose your data on this thing. With all this space, you could fit everything on it. It's just really, really cool. It's gum metal color. Hi, welcome to the Kingston Ballroom for 2013 CES. What I'm going to show you right now are a couple of examples of our HyperX memory in performance PCs. What Kingston's known for, of course, is making your PC go faster, and we've done just that. We're starting to see now the entertainment industry, the CGI guys, the rendering farms, look for an all SSD solution. That's in 2012, Kingston Technology celebrated 25 years of success. David and John have become the memory kings of the world. It's a quarter of a century. Great achievement, you know, within a short period of time. We have a lot of plans for the future, so the game just started. Perhaps another 25 years, I will be uh, 96 years old. What have I learned today? First, Kingston Technology was founded by accident. After the October Black Monday stock market crash of 1987, they found they they had lost almost their entire life savings. Second, David and John scrambled to find a way to survive. Third, the bigger the danger, the bigger the opportunities. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be David's son and John too. Eight lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.